Hello everyone, this is Dragon Lover 4194 and we are back with Spyro. Um, we might be able to get through this, through the remainder of this today. Might have to extend it to another episode. But yeah, we are back into it. We have completed Autumn Plains. We got the last of the speedways. And now we are going into Mystic Marsh. I actually find this one kind of funny just because of how we get into this situation. Like, it's just funny. Plus the cutscenes are kind of funny. the same since our magic fountain shut off. It sure would help if you could find out what evil force is behind this disaster. <laughs> yeah, we gotta find out why the fountain shut off. Oh. Also, I thought that was a nice touch for the remake. With, um, those monkeys were... Those monkeys are throwing wampa fruits. Because, you know, that Activision also did the Crash Insane trilogy. Yeah. I'm gonna do that eventually, so subscribe for that. Anyways, uh. Yeah, I thought that was a nice touch that they made those monkeys as annoying as they are. That they decided to make them throw Wumpa fruit. Because I think in the original they just looked like nuts. So the fact that they made them Wumpa fruits here, here was a nice touch in my opinion. Get these gems around the fountain. I didn't see you there. Excuse me or do the animals seem a bit quiet today? Well, since I'm in the river, might as well get this stuff. There's some... Um, yeah, there's one. Yeah. The little puffer platypus things are a bit weird. Of course, so do snail elephants. <laughs> I spent enough. I spent two hours in a maze with snail elephants looking for a pencil. <laughs> Leave a like if you get that reference. And if you've not, not seen that reference, look up Spyro's Bad Day. It is super funny. Rid of this snail elephant. Oh, and apparently get an extra life. Oh right, this is the level where I have to chase down those thieves. Okay, 
Okay, normally those guys charge at you. Why? Why was he just standing still? It's a little bit odd. Yeah, I feel like those guys are supposed to be charging at you, not just sitting there waiting for you to get close. don't have any more backtracking to do, and we don't have to worry about leaving a level half done. And over here, get you. Get you. You. Ooh, that's the last monkey. There might be some up there. Don't you throw your wumpa fruits at me. Uh, yeah, I need to get that tower. I'll get this started since I'm over here with the professor. Ah, Spyro, so glad you're here. I'm perfectly useless without my trusty pencil, and I seem to have lost it. I do have this extra egg. Perhaps you can trade it for my pencil. Hmm? Hey, yeah. Basically, this mission is just you grab something, you take it to where it belongs, and and you keep going until you find your pencil. The egg, how? Get out of the sludge. The egg goes up here into this nest. Okay, really? <laughs> there. So the bird drops the seed. Take the seed. Go over here. Do this little pot. Grows plant, plant spits out a ducky. That goes over here. And we get moon. Hot, you need to 
take this too, and it's this way. The onion in the pot. Pot spits out a coin. Take the coin. Can we, I can't remember if we can just drop it into the bottom layer of the fountain or if it has to. Okay, yeah, it does work that way. Yeah, now we got the pencil. And it didn't take us two hours. <laughs> well, just glide this way. Here's your pencil. My pencil! Now I can begin calculating the age of the universe again. Here, take this orb for safekeeping. Alora thinks I'm going to lose it. Gee, I wonder why. Mr. Jim. I think all I have to left all we have left to do is on the upper level for the most part. Give it this guy with this lump of fruit. What? Oh I, I must have dozed off there. Golly, it looks like I let the fountain switch off. Here, take this orb and, um, don't mention my little nap to Hydra, okay? <laughs> Seriously, Snoozle. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what's funnier. The uh, fact that, that the fountain got switched off, or they seriously thought putting the guy named Snoozle in Just gonna go through here and Okay, that's a bit weird. over here anyway. No, I don't really need to get any more of the enemies since I already unlocked the spring. But it's just easier to just get rid of them so that they're out of the way, you know? I think there's some in this little bit of water here. Yep. And looks like we got everything in here. Now I know I saw a bottle suspended by a balloon that we'll need to get rid of. Mm. 
Cool, I didn't think I was going to make that jump. I'll take this tunnel back. I can't remember how we get that balloon. No. I'm sure it'll come to me. In the meantime, we gotta deal with... Yeah, that's how we do it. You take that spring and glide over me. Let me get the balloon that way. Let's do that real quick before we deal with the last orb in this level. Now we gotta talk to Basil. Ah, uh, Spyro, a friendly face. A bunch of rotten thieves have stolen my spark plugs and I'm stuck here. Please get the four plugs back. Yeah, I remember trying this mission first time. I managed to get all but one thief and I had to have my brother help me. But the second time... I managed to get it, so... Should be able to get all four or without any assistance. Did I go in this door? Oh, must not have. There's gems in here. We got all the gems. That just means we gotta catch the spark plug thieves and we'll be all done. Good how annoying this is. Ah, boop. Thought I could catch him as he was diving in the water. to think where the other three are. I know one's gonna be in those treetop houses. I feel like there's another one on this upper level though. Somewhere. Yeah, there he is. I got the drop on ya! I know there's one that's like super easy. He just runs around in a circle. Over here? Oh, no, there he is.
Yeah, this guy just runs around in a circle. Come here! Come here! Haha! <laughs> Alright, now for the tough one. Oh, I wonder. What happens if you talk to Hydra after you... Oh, you can't talk to him. Let's see... Okay. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, Elgato slipped out of, of my computer. I was like, I really should get a new computer for recording. Because the Elgato only works with a USB 3.0 and my computer only has one. And for some reason that port is like kind of loose. So I gotta be really careful when I'm recording. <gasps> Come on Spyro! Yeah, um, because of that I have to be super careful when I'm recording because even the slightest nudge will dislodge the cable and cut off my recording. Sorry, just trying to get back into the rhythm of this. Yeah. Okay, seriously, why does... Why does that keep happening? Well, at least you made it easy for me. I'm back in business. Here, young dragon friend, take this. It's museum quality, but you deserve it. Excellent. <laughs> That's level complete. Yeah, there are no talismans in the winter trigger levels, so you can just hit them! Seriously, you put Snoozle back in charge of the fountain? <laughs> Seriously, I'd give Snoozle a different job. One level done. Um, and the thing, how many levels are in this world? We got Stone Marsh, Cloud Temples, Robotic Forms, Metropolis. Is that all of them? I think there was one more. That might be all of them. Yeah, I think. Um, I don't think I'll be able to finish it in this video, but. Uh, we should be able to finish Spyro 2 by the next video. In the meantime, let's go to Cloud Temples.
Seriously, do I know the way? That one jump pad in this marsh was giving me trouble. I used to be one of Avalar's most powerful magicians. Until that big warlock over there stole my wand. He and his friends have used the magic within to take over the city. Yep, gotta deal with these guys. When we help them, we'll the progress through the level. And just make sure there's nothing else on this platform before we progress. Bad goat. So we'll take this whirlwind up. So at the time of recording this, it is June 7th, 2021. And everyone's excited about their Possibly being a new Spyro game. Who knows, maybe there is a new Spyro game coming out. We don't know yet. Hopefully we'll get news about that soon. Of course, me being a huge Spyro slash Dragon fan. And if there is a new game, I will totally cover it. That whirlwind will take me back there. Oh uh, yeah, H and zero. Hmm. Yeah, we gotta help. I'm gonna do this mission. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm a secret agent. I'm going to my secret hideout. Only members of my secret club are allowed to go there. I'm not leaving unless you hide behind that tree so you can't see me. So yeah, we gotta follow Agent Zero to his hideout. Gonna hide behind the tree. Too close to him. The spot says we have to start all over. Get here without following me? You must be a member of my secret club after all. Here, take this secret decoder. It will allow us to send secret messages.
Alright. I think that's honestly the harder mission of the ones in this level. And now we can go back and collect the stuff. Yeah, I think if he weren't fast enough, the doors will close behind him. The this resulting in a failed mission. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's all we need to collect from down here for now. Until we find that rocket. Yeah, we need yeah, 21 spirit particles for that gate. We probably won't get them all until after we complete the main part of the level. We could go back, back here and take care of that if we wanted. Actually, how far are we from the end? We're actually pretty close to the end. So yeah, let's go back and do this little mission first. Mystical bell towers have been overrun by trolls, and the bells haven't been rung in days. I tried a fire spell on the trolls, but that just made them crazier. This super freeze power up will chill out the trolls, but we really need the bells to ring. They'll ring if you charge into them. Yep, we gotta use our ice power. We use the trolls to make little stepping stones. It's one bell. So yeah, that troll will go over here. And he'll be our stepping stone to get to this bell. I'm gonna make it too high. You get back into place. Okay, and ding! I suppose you want an orb for doing that. Well, I'm afraid not. There's still one bell left. You can get to it by using the whirlwind behind me. Okay. 
And ding. Thanks, Spyro. I didn't think you could do it. A souvenir from the Cloud Temple's gift shop. <laughs> you just give away orbs in the gift shop. But yeah, we're not done yet. Still stuff to collect up here. Now, so up here is where we find the rocket for breaking open that reinforced chest. Just gotta wait for this troll to get into position. Oop. Ah. Add. Wrong button. I think maybe I think I can glide from here. Ha! I'm just in time for the ice power to wear off. Some gems at the end of the level. Let's see. Yeah, there's. Spyro, you have freed our city from the claws of those evil warlocks. Please take this orb. I foresee that it will help you on your journey. Cool. They should be our last gems. Nice. Time to go. Mm -mm. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh -oh. <laughs> That's another one done. I believe we have two more levels. And then we'll get to go fight Ripto. So we're done with Cloud Temples, um, I think I got time for one more level in this episode. Eh. And get the last level in Ripto and uh, Dragon Shores in the last episode. So yeah, we're going to Robotica Farms. This does have another annoying thing that you gotta do. Hopefully I can get through it quickly. Might have to cut some footage out in order to keep this episode to a reasonable length. Alright. 
Pyro? These here pests have infested our farm. Could you find the time to help us get rid of them? Find your way over to the giant bug lamp and turn it on so we can zap any more feeding pests. Was well, that just like it's funny that if the farmers have gyrating pants? Apologize for that. See, that's everything down here. Do you have anything else in? Them? This little spot of grass. Couple bugs. Ow. Yeah, that beetle I just killed. Um, I remember in the original. Bit congested at the moment. Cotton one's blooming where I am, and I'm got a mild allergy. Hmm. Anyways, um, the beetles that spin around. Um, I remember in the original Spyro. Oh, for PlayStation, they had this terrifying electronic screech when you flip them over. I just, I like, hated it. Yeah, any old school Spyro fans will know what I'm talking about. I'm glad that they changed it for Spyro Raiden right up. Need the sheep. Okay. Oh, I see gems in the grass. Let's see. I think that's everything up to this point. Get up here. Ow. And I lost sparks. Gosh, did you see that? I threw the rock at the barrel and the barrel bounced back and hit the bug. <laughs> oh, sheep. Come here. Man, that was too good. <laughs> This way. Yeah. 
Ow! And I lost sparks again. That cheat back. At least the windmill only stuns me and doesn't kill me. Baskets, why'd I call them barrels? <laughs> okay. So yeah, this is the mission I'm talking about. You have to get those four flying bugs in a reasonable amount of time because if you don't it's kind of like the Draculas in that if you don't get them quickly enough they'll respawn but the fact that they're always moving is annoying Seriously, how are the missions in Metropolis less annoying than this? I don't feel like going back for sheep, so... Hopefully there's some sheep in the bed. at that time. Seriously? Yeah.
Yeah, yeah, we got a uh, time to sort of go in between the blades of the windmill. Yay, more sheep! And I got that life back I lost from dealing with those bugs and the scarecrows. Just got. Hmm. I just got one more orb to collect from this level, as well as the rest of the gems. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I forgot this level had a mystery pot. But well, let's take care of this guy first. But some fool robot blocked the path up. Do you think you can clear things up with a bit of supercharge? Okay. Now I can get back and get these three baskets I missed. Okay. I think. Yeah. Whirlwinds are active now, so I don't have to run through the whole level just to get back to the start of the supercharge. Okay. And go! This just gives me a chance to miss collect this face. Go! Oh! <laughs> that was an epic fail if I saw one. Supposed to turn. Okay. Ah, oh, I'm so close. Might as well get this while I'm here. Okay, I'll leave that there for now. Up we go. Steer in 
buzz dragon. Here, take this thingamajig I found in the cow pen. You don't even have cows here. How can you have a cow pen and no cows? I'm gonna charge for a bit because I know there's a basket. I think I can just get through without it. Yeah. Alright. And now I just need... I believe all I need is the pot. don't think there's one in Metropolis, though there might be. I don't remember. Um, where was it? Back at the beginning? Yep, there it is. Is that all of them? I'm missing six. Okay, Sparks, where are they? Over there? Can do this. What are they? Oh, I see him. All right. Well, that's done. Now we can head out. And whoosh! Now we just have one more level to go, and then we'll be on to the fight with Ripto. And after that, we will be taking a nice vacation in Dragon Shores. Alright. Well, I think that'll do it for this episode. It might be a little long after editing, but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this one. And we made a lot of progress. We only have one more level, one more boss, and then our little bonus stage. And that, and we will be done. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Ring that bell for notifications. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!